Hello Elites and welcome back to Minecraft Elite vs Wild. This is episode 131 and I'm excited to start doing episodes after episode 130 because look at that. We can start doing futuristic things. <laughs> so this sign is now floating because it has these flotation devices on it. And uh, today we're in this episode we're going to be building a monorail as you can see by the title. It's a futuristic monorail. It's going to be floating also and it's going to be much much faster and better and it's going to cover more area of my city. By the way, how these things work is uh, you fill them up with redstone blocks and it basically powers them up. That's how those work. Um, so yeah, and the power lasts for a long time. Um, you could see a quarter of your lifetime, basically. Um, so, let's go ahead and start on this project. I'm excited. I can't wait. We are going to figure out how to make this go across four islands instead of just one like this one does. This one goes across one big island, which is this big island right here in the middle, the, the old, old, um, Salem, the oldest part of the city. So, um, and it needs to, it just needs to be way more efficient. It needs to go across four of them. So we're going to go ahead and go up here with iron. I was deciding, my bad, I was deciding what block to use. That's why it was taking me a while. So let's say it starts up here. Hmm. Well, how far? Okay. I want to start at the level of the, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just so excited I can't speak. So I wanted to start at that building over there. As you can see, the only building at this height, really. Um, I wanted to start at that height over there. So first, okay, so this is 98. What floor is this? Uh, come on. 96, okay. So if that's 96, then we're just too high. We're two blocks higher. So let's go two blocks lower, like this, and then we're going to, there we go. So that's about the level of that old building, the oldest building in the city now, that is. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back this way. We're going to make it three wide, and this is that corner right there that matches up at the corner, right? Yep, this is that corner. I'm going to go ahead and make it go this way. I will come back when... I am done with marking where I want this. All right, I've gone ahead and marked where I want the rail to go in the air. Now we're gonna do this um, because this will keep it lit up at night and not have things spawn. Even if something spawns, it'll get pushed off and die. Because from this height, it's gonna die. Um, but I like that it goes right past this building, as you can see, because we can make a stop right there. You can just remove one of the tables, the dining tables outside, and just make a stop. So let me go ahead and make the rest of this three wide and then add the um, sea lanterns. Alrighty, and we're back. And I actually had decided I was gonna make I was gonna make um, this train track go around the blue building in between the both towers, but instead I'm gonna make it go through the tower. So that's gonna be a much more fun, exciting development. We're gonna go ahead and break through the windows here and make it go inside the building, and this will be a stop inside of the building. Um here we are. So, should we change the flooring? Yeah, screw it. Change the flooring. It's okay if the floor below can see that it's, you know, iron and not what it should be, which is in stone. But that's okay because this building is an office building anyway. It's, it's um, it's kind of like the headquarters of Amazon, basically. It's the headquarters of a shipping, um, a shipping mogul, as you could call it. Because, well, Amazon kind of is a shipping mogul. They kind of, you know... They go all around the world, which is crazy, because they make lots of money, probably, uh, selling a lot of shit, so that's what they are. <laughs> so this is that kind of building for them. This is the headquarters of that place in the city. So we're going to go ahead and make the train go through here, add on this so it can light it up and also be a divider. And you know what? I just changed my mind again, because we don't need this in the mm, side of the building. We can cut it off right here, actually. And make it go to the window right there. One more. There we go. That's actually how we could do it. And then uh, go ahead and change the blocks there. And I'm going to go out a little bit. And actually we're just going to stop that part right there. We're going to stop that part right there. And then continue developing a different part. We're going to put windows right there because you can't really go through there. And I think we should grab some panes. Some clear panes and put them right here. So that way you, know, you can't just walk out onto it and kill yourself. There you go. Safety is all the future. Um, ah, crap. I blocked myself in here. How the hell am I supposed to get out? <laughs> Duh. So let me go to grab a enderpearl and s there you go. Teleport out. Um, 
and let's go ahead and start adding train tracks to the um to the elevated train um so that way we can add those and it will add activator rails and then um well not activator rails detector rails and then powered rails so let's i'll be right back Ha cha cha, and we're back. So now uh, I added activator rails or whatever and power rails, and so they're gonna push us forward. Look at this, nice and fast. I love it. Here we go. Zoom by, zoom by the city. High in the air. There you are, and through the window, which will probably take away half a heart. Half a heart, but that's okay. I haven't tested it out yet in uh, survival mode, so. And we'll test it out another time. Right now we're busy building the rail. I accidentally popped the hole in the ground. We're going to put that there, back where it belongs. And then we're going to continue. Okay, so let's go through here for now. And the next thing we're going to do, I think, mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go over here and add the flotation devices to the um, actual bridge. So that way, you know, it's actually floating and not like, you know, literally floating in Minecraft. Let's make it realistically floating in the future. Right now it's unrealistically floating. Like, it's just Minecraft floating. Let's make it realistically floating in the future where it can float, <laughs> if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and grab new material. We're going to use quartz this time. We're going to use quartz because it's more expensive and more worth it. So that's good. That's good. Um, let's add this. I know it starts on this corner. I don't know how much it goes up after the rail. So um, here and then as of the rail, one up, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're going to go up six after the rail. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the other side, I think it starts right here, if I'm right. I think so here, there. And then um, because in the water, let's see, three, four, five, six. We're going to go six underneath because um, in the water, it has a support beam. But... We're not going to have that because it's on a floating uh, floating device underneath it. That's what's installed to it. So now we're going to add slabs to the top. And it looks like it goes diagonally this way and goes up two, starting from the top of the block. And this is not going to be matched up. I just realized that. That is completely crooked. What is wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this column is completely wrong. So what we need to do is just let's just continue the pattern. Um... The other one should be right about here located was there and then there should be a middle one that's three tall starting from the top of that one the top of the two tall like that and then we fix this column off oh, work I screwed it up <laughs> so I think it starts here no 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 one more over there you go perfect and then I go like this and now we're going to do symmetry and do the bottom side. The bottom side is actually going to look at the top side now. Instead of, you know, the bottom side being just a column holding it up because, um, because of, you know, the ground. No, this time we don't have to follow gravity. This time we can go against it, which is pretty freaking awesome. Being in 2087, that is freaking awesome. Yes, we did excel a year. Um, so here we are a year later. And now we're going to do that. Go down another one. Awesome. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to add these slabs on top and on bottom. And then the flotation device, device on the bottom. So let's do quartz. And then this will be emptied for that. And have to go ahead and add the power to it so it's actually powered up. Because it needs some kind of fuel source. Alright. And now let's add the slabs to the top. Yeah. So we have them for the bottom. Let's add them for the top. Here, 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 and there. And, but, sorry, hiccup. And then, <laughs> uh, I think that's it for the design. That's a pretty simple one, is the corner one. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one off camera, and, or I'm gonna cut to finishing this one, because this one's very, it's like a lot more intricate. And we're gonna have to do this top design on the bottom, which is gonna take more time. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, here is the completed look. It looks pretty freaking awesome. It looks like it's floating. It looks nice. I love it. Let's look at it from a different angle just to get a better view. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Imagine that all around the city. Oh my god. And imagine buildings on those too. Amazing. Freaking amazing. We got it, guys. 
Anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe today to become an elite. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, I'll see you in the next episode of the video that I create. And so, goodbye, elites. Goodbye.